All right, here we go with another video. This time we have a problem with the fuel sensor. Um, the fuel sensor is located inside the gas tank with the fuel pump. So we said fuel sensor circuit failure or something like that. Well, these type of vehicles, they sell the whole thing. I'm sure you can buy the sensor on Amazon, but I, I don't know if they uh, any good or not. So this is the problem with this thing the the fuel tank is it has the sensor built in so you have to remove the fuel tank out of the vehicle to um replace the fuel pump so on this time we're gonna do that replace the the, the whole the whole thing because um there is no point in replacing uh just the sensor uh the fuel pump is pretty old this is a 2005 I believe 4E150, so it's pretty old. So one thing we're gonna do is to make sure that it's not the dashboard. We're gonna do a little test right here. As you can see, you can do a fuel indicator. Uh, we don't wanna see uh, live data. So I'm gonna hit increase, and this thing should go up. As you can see, it's moving. This is the resistance, right? So I'm doing it with the scanner. I know a lot of people do not have this type of scanner, but you can buy a cheap one and it's still doing the same thing. Now, what we can do, we can do uh, the whole thing. As you can see right here, we don't need a live data. So I'm gonna turn everything on. Okay. So, so that works, turn it off it's off um, we can do all the tests right here that we can we can do the tag we can do the speed uh, speedometer I mean all this type of thing but right now the only thing we can do is just we want to do is it's just uh, like I said the sensor so now we know that this thing is working so we, it's nothing to do with this It's the fuel sensor um, the level so um, one thing you got to do, you got to check the wires too in order to make sure that everything is good. But again, you need to drop the gas tank. And these things are pretty heavy. This is like a 35 gallon, so uh, we're going to have some work right here. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that because I see it's, it's, it's just it's going to be a pain in the head to do it. Uh, um, I'll disconnect and everything, but um, it's, it's pretty simple. You know, you got to get some... Um, hose uh, quick connectors uh, disconnect the hoses and the wire harness with the fuel pump which is pretty easy um the hard part is sometimes when you don't have all this equipment and then to figure it out what's going on but as you can see it's just pretty easy and i'm going to show you how the the brand new sensor looks like this is the new pump this is the sensor the fuel level sensor this thing comes up and then <clears throat> they show you how much fuel you got on the, on the tank right so what happened is this thing goes bad over time in here on that plastic um the resisting in there um the, no, the gasoline uh bad gasoline and stuff like that i mean it, these things are not made that quality so they might last for another couple of years then we're gonna have to replace it but this this is the whole thing this is a brand new one and these are pretty expensive and it's not the money just to take it out is a pain in the neck because dropping the fuel tank i mean you can cut a hole on the bed but this van it has so much stuff in there that by the time you remove all the stuff i think it's, be, it's a lot easier to take the whole tank down so so this is the sensor and any car this will be the, the fuel level sensor this this piece right here this is the fuel level we can check for resistance right here on, a, on the old one I'm gonna show you on a new one but you can do the same thing on the old one to make sure this thing is working um, the sensor is, is pretty good so we're gonna do that you're gonna see it's, uh, it's pretty easy you you don't need all this uh, fancy uh, machines that I have you can do it with a DVOM um, you gotta put it on on, on the setting when it says uh, resistance and then you can it's pretty easy I'm gonna show you right now so as you can see here, this is the setup for the, um, to check the resistance on this thing. It's right here, red wire, black wire. You don't have to go by colors, doesn't really matter. The only thing here, you look right here, 
a tiny blue wire and the other one right there so this is two wires you got to test them out um, the gray wire and the black wire that's for the fuel pump so as you can see right now I got these wires connected as you can see right there and I got the the DVOM set up on ohms like the horseshoes it looks like now if I start moving this thing it increases resistance and then it's coming down so it's working so that's pretty good you uh, you can do this with this or you can do it with this fancy thing like you can go here and, and do the same thing but it's going to be the same thing now this one's going to graph it's going to give you a bunch of stuff um let's say i want to go here resistance right here then uh, you're going to see this is going to graph peak uh, average minimum maximum and all the kind of stuff but pretty simple you can do it with a dvom <clears throat> and this is a brand new one so that's why it's working properly as you can see as soon as i start moving it it just moves but on the old one you can do it like that if you hook that up and you move the handle right here the, the sensor or handle whatever you want to call it and the the resistance doesn't move or it takes too long to respond or, or it goes up and it stays one number let's say um stay 15 on the, uh, all the way down 15 all the way to the top or 160 or and 150 on the bottom so that means that it's not it's not working anymore that it's not good so in that in that case there is no point going um you know trying to uh fix that thing or something like that just replace the whole thing now we can get the sensor on um i'm, I'm sure amazon or ebay they have it but i don't know if they're a good quality so i would not recommend that um It'd be up to you whatever you want to do is your card you can do whatever you want but as you can see it's a simple simple test you can do and you got to test uh, the dashboard to the gauges or whatever you want to call them um to make sure when you do the test with the computer they go up 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 and then come down when you, you hit the, the you know the button to come down um you're gonna need a scanner for that but um with a hundred dollars maybe you can do it or 300 I don't know. I have to use one of these fancy ones because I do a lot of work. I work on a lot of vehicles. Um, but again, this test right here, so simple. This this was like, a, I think, $15 on Walmart. This DVLM in Nova is pretty good. I had this for a while and it's still working properly. So again, um, we're going to put everything in and then put gas on it and then see what happened i'm gonna take the gas tank out i'm not gonna be filming because i know i don't have nobody to hold the camera and this is gonna be painting a painting the neck I, I bet to take all that stuff down but uh, um the fuel tank is empty so that's one thing you got to keep in mind is to always keep it empty because that thing is so heavy that i mean if it is empty it's only weigh like a 50 pounds maybe not even maybe 35 40 pounds if that so let's see what happened all right here we got the the old pump that we're gonna do a little test real quick and um it's moving right there a glitch and now we have no contact right here doesn't matter what we do there's no contact right there we get a little contact right there all the way to the top we're coming down it glitch right at the middle it glitch a little bit so if I move it fast, you get contact and right there. So that means that thing is broken right up the middle. There's no argument with that. But yeah, you see, it's reading pretty crappy. So yeah, it's broken in here, right up the middle. It's nothing we can do about it. That thing we cannot fix it. It's just, just no way. That'll be a nightmare. Uh, trying to fix that thing so just get another one so now i'm going to compare that to a good pump this is a honda pump it's going to read different you know there's no it's not the same thing you know all the um, car makers they put a little different stuff so as you can see this one start moving up and it's a smooth going up doesn't lose anything. 
you can see right there all the way down come up we don't lose anything we don't lose any contact so on this one at least you can see right there that's where the nothing moves up and down and that's where you get the the contacts point and it tells the computer low on fuel or, or you know full low whatever but so we we'll move up this one we we'll hook this up put this one back on and so we move it smooth so we're trying to go real smooth and you could right there glitch and there is nothing nope I mean if we move this thing fa fast you get contact I guess because the friction but if you go slow nice and smooth like it's pumping gas it doesn't get anything okay here we go nothing and then we get so there you go so there is obvious problem inside that is there's no argument with this this is bad and it needs to be replaced there is no way there's no it's no other you know nothing we can do about it we're not going to attempt to fix that thing we're just going to put another one and um and as you can see i got the i got the new one already so we're just going to put that on and test everything and that's it should be work really good so now yeah i'm using my fancy thing so let's let's do the same thing i used the um, the same the what do you call um innova dbom on the new one but i'm going to use on the old one you're going to see it's going to be the same same thing so as you can see right here on the old one nothing we don't get voltage right there obviously this one doesn't graph like my fancy um, scanner but still reading you know it's still working still telling you what's going on see <laughs> there you go there you go nothing on the middle unless we move it real fast I guess the friction and when we come down yeah this thing is it's not fast as my fancy machine so it's gonna it takes a little more time to um show you the numbers there you go I guess the connection right here is not good but either way so now we're gonna move this one to the good pump uh, to the Honda pump and same thing we're going up and that moves no problem nice and smooth so on the way to the top you see this one the the DVM it takes a little longer to refresh than my fancy computer but it's okay though still you know it, it works so there it is so there you go this thing is just it's bad inside we're gonna take this out just to, to look in there and see what happened and that's how it looks that this is okay right there as you can see it looks brown or black whatever like it um, like it is burned in there and uh, that's this thing goes in there up and down right about there when it's not reading anything right from the middle and that's what it looks like a uh, it looks dark though it looks like a Let's say it's like overheating or something. So there you go. This is the problem right here. And yeah, I might, you can buy just a sensor and throw it right in there, hook the wires up. But you know, test the pump again when, you know, if you take it out, test the pump. Make sure you're getting like 50 PSI. This is not um, a GDI pump, you know, it's not going to put out 1500 or whatever. Um, this is put out like 55, 50 or 40 something right about there. This one was putting out like 42. Still good, you know. It's not um, perfect, but it was working good. But we're not going to um, put uh, just a sensor. We're just going to replace the whole thing. Let's 
that's why we had a new one right there we're not gonna take chances you know put it just replacing that thing and then next thing you know this thing goes bad and then we have to drop the tank again with that it's a pain in the head in the back we're not gonna do that it just there's no point it's too much work to do it's pain in the, pain in the neck we're not gonna do it. all right so as you can see now i installed the, the the fuel pump and everything and as you can see it reading now it says it's low fuel but um now it moves up and down as you can see See, now it moves. <clears throat> because I only put like four gallons of gasoline on the tank. So um, that's why it says I need the fuel. Uh, you can't, you know, you can't put that tank with a lot of fuel on it. So as you can see here on my scanner, I don't have the code anymore. This is that you need to um, run the car. I mean, drive the car for 200 miles, 300 miles. And that will reset it so in order you can pass inspections and everything. Now we're going to start it up. Brand new pump. Start right up. And um, again, it's reading low because um, you only have a little bit of fuel in it. But as you can see, there is no more codes about fuel sensor, uh, fuel level sensor. And that's that's how you do it. And um, removing the tank again, like I said, that is not that hard. Um, just the straps, two straps, um, disconnect the fuel line. That is not it's not big of a deal. And you gotta be careful for the vacuum hoses. You know, they they're, they are in there. If they go to the can canister. But other than that, everything is fine. As you can see, check engine light is is off. There's no more check engine. And um, it's only the fuel, but you know, it need to be filled up. It's warm right now, see I just started up. So we need to um, go to the gas station and fill it up. And um, it's gonna be fine though. It's gonna be it's gonna be running pretty good. So as you can see, if they will sell the sensor, but I'm talking about four. If four sell the sensor, then you can replace it with the four. And that would work though, but you don't want to put uh, Amazon or eBay sensor, or even AutoZone. I mean, you better off replacing the whole pump like what I did. And um